And I think we can start uh, with the updates. So I don't know, Patricia, whether you would like to give the hiring update as the first one. Uh, yeah, I think we have like some some new faces uh, today. So I um not sure how uh, aware people are, but we had open positions for software developers out uh, in uh, late, well, forgot. We definitely had one in summer and then more uh, just a few weeks ago in, in autumn. Um, basically uh, replacing uh, the our lead developer that uh, has left in January, but also just adding um, uh, more developers to um, to the team to basically um, adjust and grow with um, the amount of customers that we have. And um, so for that last round of software developers, I think last time in a user group, or at least when I met the community, we said that we were just about to interview and um, those interviews have happened and we've uh, made some selections that are basically now like waiting for HR to finish up contracts and hope that is all going reasonably smoothly um, and should have um, three people joining us um, early next year, hopefully. Um, so if we're a bit quiet in January, that's basically because it's the start of the year. We're trying to bring new people on board. Um, but also that means after like spring next year, we should be a back to the team size we had and even bigger and um, hopefully then can tackle all the bigger issues and features that have been outstanding. and. Um, just yeah keep working on top of that but yeah once people are joining us um you'll in all the comms magdalena is doing there will be announcement blog posts you'll get to meet people in these sessions um so yeah i think that we're we're quite happy where we are aside from the fact that i don't understand hr processes and <laughs> what is happening right now but um yeah Hope that that uh, that uh, team will be growing early next year. So that's our good Christmas news. Um, aside from that, I don't know, Magdalena, do you want to update on your bits? Yeah, as usual, uh, for those who are joining us today for the first time, uh, the November session recording is live. So you can find all of the links in the document and. Also, we are running a training in February uh, 2022. So if you're interested, there is also a link, again, uh, which you can just click on and you will be able to register. This training is aimed for the administrators of the NP Online. We will be running through the basic functionalities. And as a part of this online training this time around, we will be running uh, KitchUp within a month or so for, um, again, anyone who would be interested because as it happens, sometimes these things are quite clear as you are sitting in a training and uh, you think everything makes sense. And once you bring it back to your team or try to implement things on your own, there might be some issues you might bump into. Um, try to make the tool as intuitive as possible, but uh, we appreciate, you know, there might be areas where you would benefit from speaking to us more. So what we want to do after the training, we'll be scheduling also one-to-one 30-minute -one phone calls for those who will be interested just to go through anything um, that wasn't clear once you started to work um, on the um, functions or like, you know, um, customizing the admin features for yourself. Um, then we have a new, uh, entry on a wiki page, it often comes up, um, you tend to ask us what is the difference between DMP online and DMP online. Someone out of his way to make sure they were comfortable. Sexual status wouldn't do that. We need to take a look at the first question. Oh, Carrie, I think. Oh, yeah, we could hear you. <laughs> I think that was a mistake. Um, it comes um, 
relatively regularly the question uh, was the difference between DMP tool and DMP online and what's our DMP roadmap and uh, open source code all about. So we have a short entry now on the wiki page, which hopefully explains a little bit more our collaboration with our colleagues uh, from CDL and how we work on features together. So if you want to find out more, uh, there is a link. And we have quite a lot of um, events coming up in the following months. I only listed up until February, but I think we have a whole website on BCC page dedicated to just the MP online events. We normally have a guest speaker, uh, but like I mentioned, this is just free Christmas. So today we are not having a guest speaker and it's just a little bit more intimate um, with fewer people. So I think these are our main updates, uh, which we wanted to share with you today. But um, we, we put together a Christmas uh, quiz. And uh, for anyone who's interested to join us in this, I don't know whether you use menti.com before. I'll open all the links and share my screen shortly. I hope it's going to work well today. Just two seconds, let me move my screens around. We were running a similar quiz, a little bit longer version of this yesterday with our colleagues from DCC, so hopefully all should work well. And let me just share my screen here. So let me just explain to you how Menti works. So you will need to go to menti.com. I hope it does work for everyone and you can use it even on your mobile devices or open an extra screen. And then you will need to type a code Eight one six eight seven one one six. I hope it's not too complicated. You can see some people are joining. I hope uh, everyone can join. Shouldn't be too too hard. And it's normally very good on a mobile device as well. So if you want to use your mobile phone for this, it tends to be. It tends to work really well on a mobile phone as well. I don't know whether I should start or whether I should wait for people. Also feel free to unmute yourself. Um, it's a very small session today, so it's not a problem if more people want to speak. But I think I can start. So the quiz is divided into two parts. The first one is more about traditions or maybe traditional Christmas movies. Um, and then in the second part, um, we have emojis that will be representing songs. And the quicker you answer, the more points you get. We'll have a leaderboard at the end. So I wish everyone good luck. And I think we can start. So I'll start with Enter. So the first question is, which country started the tradition, the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Time's up. OK, quite a few people said Germany. And the correct answer is Germany. Um, and we always have a little explanation. So they started with the tradition in the 16th century. And I think uh, it's being brought from Germany to the UK afterwards as well. And I think the original Christmas tree was actually hanging from the ceiling. Um, so it changed over time. OK, second question. How many ghosts show up in a Christmas carol? It's going to be a tricky one. Time's up. Three, five, five, 
Frank Dancer's four. Yeah, I thought it would be a tricky one. I wouldn't know myself. Um, but let's go to the explanation. One of, is the chief of barley and then the spirits of Christmas past, present, and future. So sorry. I think Patricia said yesterday she knew it was three or five based on the... I put five because I only watch it in the Muppets version and yeah. they're, they're uh, Marley brothers. So there are two of them. So in, in that version, it's five and, and I've never actually like engaged with the original. <laughs> I only know it for, for the Muppets. Which is fair enough. Should have integrated more correct answers, I think, into this. I haven't changed it really. Um, so next question. In Home Alone, where are the McAllisters going on holiday when they leave Kevin behind? I think, again, I should have probably added two uh, right answers into this. Um, but I mean in the first one, in the first movie. Sorry. Sorry, yeah. The first one they get to Paris. Um, Again, yeah, it's just in my life because in case the right answer specific one. Severus is like outdoing you again. He's managing like to don't know why, but he manages to just get the pitch right for for uh, the uh, microphone to pick him up and nothing else. So I think we see. Magdalena moving to, through our house to move away from the bird so we can hear again. No, apologies. I should probably always work by default in these in a different room. I, I tend to work from kitchen these days because it's the warmest room in my house. Uh, but he became, became recently very chatty during drop-ins or meetings. So sometimes you would see me moving around. Uh, okay, next question. Which country did eggnog originate from? And we are giving you three options here as well. Was it German, Britain, or Hungary? Again, I must admit, I had no idea which country, but... Oh, three answers for Britain and three for Hungary. And it was Britain. And it all started in the 13th century with monks. Uh, who had a lot of time and put this beautiful drink for us together. Um, so, a next question. In which country is it a tradition to eat KFC for Christmas dinner? And again, I had no idea. Oh, people were not too far. Japan. And it's because there is some traditional Japanese dish called, I won't try to pronounce it because I don't want to embarrass myself, which compromises small pieces of panko bread, deep fried meats like chicken or fish. And that's where KFC came in and the company launched its Kentucky for Christmas marketing campaign in 1974. So um, I think it's just something traditional that KFC um, managed to market for, which was very smart of them. And another question. What color suit did Santa wear until Coca-Cola rebranded him in red? Can't really imagine Santa wearing any other color than red, but quite a few people said the right answer, which is green. So well done to you. And the green color was to use to signify coming spring, but Coca-Cola took this um, and wanted to ensure that people will start to associate Coca-Cola with Christmas as well. And obviously putting Santa Claus 
in red suit and just using their branding color to help them to ensure that Coke will be popular during winter months as well. So this is since why um, Santa Claus is wearing red. Next question. So who brings presents in the following countries? Germany, Austria, Czech Republic, Croatia, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Slovakia, Hungary. And I bet this list is not extensive. Um, there are much more. But it's just a bit different to where we are. There were actually right answers, but unfortunately it's not recognizing. Um, is a Christian would be probably just the same as a baby Jesus. So for those who said that, I'm giving you an extra note, an extra point. It's not smart enough this quiz just to know. Um, yeah, and it's the baby Jesus that brings the presents instead of Santa Claus. And now we are entering the second part where you can try to guess songs based on emoji. So the first one. You should be able to see this well on your phones as well if you're using a phone. I think these can be trickier um, for non-native speakers or sometimes to me I would know the tune, but I wouldn't know the lyrics. Um, started to pick up lyrics when I moved to the UK and started to pay attention more to the language itself. So the first one is, oh, quite a few people actually got it, driving home for Christmas, yes. Well done. The second one comes as well, is again, it's just not smart enough to recognize the X. Okay, next one. Nine out of 15, so we have a few more to go. Again, hopefully this is very intuitive, even if you don't know the song itself. Just literally what you see. But again, it's like, it's one of these funny things, like, I think if you're not a native speaker, so different once you start to recognize all the words in the songs. Santa baby, Christmas baby, <laughs> that's close enough. Well done. The next one, 10 out of 15, so just a few more to go. I must admit, I think this one is very hard. I wouldn't know. But anyone who will get this one, well done you. A few more seconds to go. Okie dokie. Time's up. So let's see what you say. Oh, well done. It is let it snow. The second one should count as well. So again, apologies. It's just not smart enough. I bet the next version of Menti in the future will become smarter and recognize even this typing. So. Next one, I'm giving a little bit more time for these, just so you can think. Hope nobody's Googling what it is. <laughs> Few more seconds to go. Okie dokie. So let's see what you said. Hello Christmas, well done. 
Well done, everyone. That's the right one. And the next one. It's 12 out of 15. We're almost at the end. Not saying anything here. I wonder what people are doing this year, whether quite few of you are actually meeting with your colleagues and going somewhere, or whether people are canceling their Christmas in person parties. We were having a Christmas get together with our colleagues from DCC uh, yesterday. And we're supposed to meet in person. Uh, three to one, thumbs up. Let's see the answer. So, mother kissing Santa Claus. It's close enough. It's mummy. <laughs> mother is very serious. But the other ones should count again as well. So, apologies. It's not smart enough. The next one 13 out of 15. We're almost there. Yeah, and I so we're supposed to meet with our colleagues in person as well um, in a week time, but I'm not sure with the new strand whether things will be going ahead, to be honest. Um, I know Miriam is based in Switzerland. I don't know what the situation is there. Like, I don't know, Chris, what about you? Yeah, everything was cancelled. Is it? Everything. Last moment, I was really looking forward to go with my colleagues for fondue. Mm. Uh, but everything was cancelled. That's very shame. Yeah, that's current situation in the life. Yeah. So whoever said silent night, well done you. Okay. Almost there. That's uh, another one. Yeah, I think just staying flexible these days. Um, didn't expect the new strand to appear. <laughs> and, but yeah, staying flexible is one of the things we need to decide this week. Um, but I think my preference would be probably to cancel it as well. Maybe just do one more online get together. Okay, peace on earth. Give peace a chance. Not too bad answer. It's a joy to the world, this one. Okay. I think this is the last one. And so many thanks everyone who is hanging around still with us, getting through these. One more to go. Five more seconds. Okie dokie. Well done, everyone. Yes, spell is now done. And everyone got this right. Okay, so let's see who is our winner today. I'll just press enter here. Ooh. Carolyn, well done you. Not sure who Dragonite is, but well done everyone. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, that was fun. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this. Uh, we we try to make today's session a little bit more informal since we knew what we won't be having um, a guest speaker. And I think people are hopefully, even though there are lots of restrictions, getting a little bit more into the festive mood. Um, but I'm not sure whether there are some more questions for us or if there's anything you'd like to ask us or discuss with us, anything we and online related or anything else we could help with. No? Okay, I'm not going to hold you for too long. 
But if not, um, again, many thanks for all of you for joining us. Like I said, today has been very intimate. I hope um, you have enjoyed it regardless. And I wish you, whoever is celebrating Christmas, Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays for those who don't celebrate Christmas and Happy New Year. And we are very much looking forward to see you in January with more updates um, with more information about our new uh, growing DMP online team and maybe presenting some of the new software developers. If they won't be joining us in person, at least we'll include more information in the upcoming newsletter. And I hope you have a lovely rest of today. And many thanks to Patricia, as always. And have a lovely rest of today. We mentioned that like the help desk will be covered. So like if if like I don't I mean for those who are around, like we'll be there will be someone to answer uh any queries at least on the day when days when the university isn't officially closed. So Magdalena is putting keeping an eye on stuff even under the Christmas tree. So we're we're here in case things break, but uh, also by now our services in a stable position where um, there's someone backs the complete university infrastructure over Christmas. <laughs> um, we should be we should be fine. But yeah. Uh, see you all in January and have a good holiday season. Exactly. See you all. <laughs>